Hi ho everybody, Redneck Einstein here, playing Fallout 4, if, even if it is slightly bugged, but it is still an amazing game. So, in this episode, we're going to continue with where we left off last time, and that is in Park Street Station, and we're still looking for Nick Valentine. Thank you for coming back, and thank you for all your support so far, guys. If you want to comment, please send in your uh, thoughts and comments. Feel free. I really want to hear from all of you, so now I just need to focus a little bit. How you doing in there? Figure out what I'm doing. Feeling hungry? Ooh, it looks like there's some bad guys. Keep talking, meathead. All right. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing. You got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark. I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I I, I gotta smooth this over. Fast. Alright, it, what it at least fuck? sounds like Nick Valentine is here, so let's engage. Gotta fight this dino character. Alright, take the shots to the face, boy. Boom! And he did. Nick Valentine, we will come and save you. Never fear. Now, in between episodes, I'm gonna need to go and find some, uh... Well, he certainly doesn't need that anymore. Gonna need to go and find some ammo and stuff. Now, I've just got hey, a password. Yeah. Let me look at what that is. Miscellaneous. Where is it? A overseer door password. Uh, can we inspect it? We can, but we can't play it, no? Uh, there must be a way. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes. Before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. How do I get the door open? Ah, here we go. Login. Password required. Accessing system. Sweet. Done it automatically. Override door controls. Manual override initiated. Opening door. Well, thank you very much. Hello, Nick Valentine. I'm hoping you can help me find my son. Whoa, you look a bit freaky, dude. Haha, uh -huh, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way and risk life and limb? An old private eye. What are you? Whoa. What? What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Hmm. I'm trying to find my son. My son, Sean is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, but not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. <laughs> All right, RoboCop, if you say so. Just let me take a look around first. Malone's crew here used to be small talk. Welcome, employees. Greetings, Overseer. I hope this message finds you well and your move into the new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as Overseer came with high recommendations from our interviewers, and we hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this vault into the new world nuclear war creates. So don't worry, just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly. Good luck. Vault Tech Management. Wow, that was... rubbish? Excellent. Ooh, speech bobblehead. Let your words be your weapon. All vendors permanently have 100 more caps for bartering. That's pretty handy. They'll be able to buy more stuff off of me. Don't know what happened to the eh, what else do we got here? Can we mess with any of this? Apparently not. I guess we go and see old Valentine. Go, Valentine. Run. I suppose you want me to cover you on the way out, huh? Sneak mode activated. Roger that. Why are you sneaking me? I killed everyone on the way. Ooh, anything in there? Wonder glue. Take all of it. I don't know if we need it. Come on, Valentine. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. Okay. How do you want to play this? His only job is to 
How do I want to play this? I want to kill them, dude. Let me go in here first. Milk vending machine. Where the heck is he? Okay. Who do we have around here? Wait. Well, hello, boys. Making a dash for it across the room. What's up? I'm gonna destroy your torso and execute a critical. Boom! Come on, Skeletor. You ain't got nothing on me. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Okay. F5. Reload. Come on. Come on, boy. You going down. Now it's your friend's turn. You're on your own now, boy. Come on. Oh, crap. Whoa. Oh, thought that was an enemy. <laughs> All right, we've done our job. Time to get some food down our necks. Bubble gum. Ramen meat, sure. Crispy squirrel bits. Yeah, it's all good. And some gum drops. Lovely. Ooh, anything in there? Turpentine and duct tape. Thank you very much. Wonder if there's anything else I need to explore in here. Well, we'll take the stuff they got that we need and carry on our wicked way. Slow down, Mr. Fedora. Hard and loud, huh? Or Mr. Well, Valentine. The job done. Bad Duct tape, thank you. Hang on. Be right there, Mr. Valentine. Just having a little look around. A Braxo cleaner. Lovely. Where'd he go? There he is. This door's on the frets. Let me see if I can get it open. Go on then. You do your best, son. I'll wait here, will I? Almost got it. There we are. You got it? Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the Look at him, Codsworth, side. bloody skeleton. He don't know what he's doing. Oh. Oh, we've got residential laundry, cafeteria, nursery, and exit zone. Okay, anything I need to grab here? Light bulb? Nah. Rubbish. Okay, continue in to sneak. Shh, don't tell anyone I'm coming. Ooh. No, you did not. Oh, no, you didn't. Where did he get gum from? Oh, he must have picked it up off someone. Black vest and slacks, huh? What are you guys hiding in here? No, you didn't see anything. There's nothing here. But nothing, What? Ooh, lit cigarette. Astoundingly awesome tales. You've collected an issue. Gain plus five action points. Why, thank you very much liquor bottle. Alright, you lead the way, Mr. Valentine. I'll get you out of here. I got the firepower. You got the brains. Ah! Take that headshots for the win. Alright. Will we make it out of here alive, I wonder? Nick! Take that, fool. Ooh, that cigarettes, awesome. thank you. They'll do to be sold. Open the door, but you can't get through there, can you? I think they're gone for good. Let's see. <laughs> Trigger man shot to the face, close range. Boom! a bit glitchy. Ah, he's trying to claim the kill. You did not get that, Mr. Valentine. That was my kill. Oh, Bourbon. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Purified water. Lovely. There's all these plates. Loads of whiskey. Beautiful. Sugar bombs. Instant mash. And... Nah, leave all the rest of this stuff. All right, I'm coming, Valentine. Hold your horse. Stairs. We built this damn ball. Fitness instructor. Oh crap! No. Sugar. I'm getting destroyed. Sugar bombs. Squirrel on a stick. All right, time to party, boy. Let's take you out close range. Boom! Oh, look at that slow mo. Love it. All 
Alright, let's just stop. Steal what he's, no, steal what he's got after this. Gotcha! That's definitely mine. Camera. Could be worth some money. Steal that, thank you. Toy car. More whiskey. I'm gonna be boozed up forever. First aid. Stimpack. Nice and right away. Uh, 45 rounds. Pork and beans. Lovely, lovely. In real life, I love, um, what do you call it? Heinz pork and beans. Yummy. If you're English, you'll know what I mean. I don't know if they have it in America. Let's just grab all these bottles and stuff. Okay, looks like Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Don't worry, sir. I will look after us. I kinda want this Volt 114 jumpsuit. Okay, we're going through. Don't have the key. Another locked door. It shouldn't be too hard. Alright, looks like old Mr. Valentine's got this. Okay, I got I'll it. cover us. But I hear big fat Ooh, what's this? steps on the other side. Check-in terminal. I might look at this. There may be some turrets or something we can disable. Please remind residents to line up in an orderly fashion. Blah, 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 blah. No, looks like rubbish. All right, guess we're going through, Valentine. Get your balls ready for a firefight. Perhaps. I'm hoping it's peaceful, what are you but doing? you never know. You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. What's going on? Why aren't they shooting me? What's the deal with you people and Nick, anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me! Mm. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> this troublemaker here used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You're gonna talk? Talk. All right, all right. I'm gonna talk to you. Don't worry about it. Look at yourself. Darla's playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. Really? Oh, Jesus, he hits oh. hard. Gonna have to take his head off. The critical. Will I make it? Will I make it? I don't know, but I need to back away from this trouble zone. Oh god almighty, I'm getting peppered. Woohoo! Time to eat. <sighs> Darla! Take her out! Or heavier with all those holes. Well, the bullets probably added. You know what? I'm gonna take Skinny Malone's suit. Skinny Malone's suit, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you can see up her skirt. How inappropriate. Tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. All right, sir. Well, good work. Helping me defend you, I guess. <laughs> Large toolbox. Let's see if we can get in here. And we're in. What do we have? Nice. Combination wrench, duct tape, fuse, and schizars. Thank you for shopping at 
Skinny Malone's base. Okay. Bottle cap, 45 rounds. I seem to have tons of 45 rounds, but the other rounds I do not have. So how do we get out here? Over here, I suppose. Yeah, this, is this where we started? Hmm. Bag of cement. Oh, no. It makes me carry too much. Damn it. Uh, let's eat some pork and beans. And take some right away. Does that improve things any? Uh, a little bit, but not too much. Okay, what else do we got that we can get rid of? Junk. Concrete we need. Cloth. Clean white plate. Definitely gonna drop that. Don't need that. Probably drop one of those. And we're just about within our limits. Good. So, up here is our exit, huh? And... Ah, that's the back bay we found earlier. While primarily a publishing house, Hubris Comics has begun to expand into radio, television, and toys. The Silver Shroud and Grognak the Barbarian were two of its most popular properties. Right, I'm hoping this Mr. Valentine guy can reveal something about my little boy. Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Uh, I have ways. No, oh, Ellie. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean. How he went missing. Indeed. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Mm. I'll follow you. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. I will, Nick. Let's move out, Captain. Run, boy. You call that running? That's not running. I'm walking faster than you. Come on, boy. Move. Move your butt. We might be able to get some loot on the way, though. Started. Getting a clue. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. Beautiful. Traveling in the Commonwealth as long as I have, you learn a few things. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things... What's that? Uh-oh. Wild mongrel. Shouldn't be too bad to deal with, and it isn't. Oop, missed him. So long. <laughs> what are you throwing at him, Nick? Gotcha. As close to safe as you can get in these bombs. Oh no, carrying too much again. I'm too fat. Dirty ashtray. Let's get rid of that and the cotton yarn. Not bothered Dirty about those things. The perimeter under control, but it's always a struggle. Despite the mayor's bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around. Even if it comes with a few uptight guards. Alright. Well, guys, if you want to skip this section, feel free. I'm going to end up the video in Diamond City. Uh, thank you for joining me so far. It's been pretty exciting. I love rescuing Nick, and I'm hoping even more that I love the fact that he may have a clue where my son is. So, join me on the next episode, where we're going to be... Hopefully following any clues that Nick Valentine gives us, although I don't know how the story plays out, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to be happening next. Happening next, sorry. Um, also, please click the like button, send your comments on how you think I'm doing and any tips and tricks you have. I hope you're carrying too much. And uh, please consider supporting me on, um, on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash redneck Einstein. All right, we're carrying too much again. We're too fucking fat. Rum bottle. Let's drop that. No, let's not. Uh, drop that. What should I be dropping out of this? Undamaged Abraxo whiskey bottle. Yeah, there we go. We're back in business. So if you're still with me, thank you. Um, we're still following old Nick Valentine back to old Diamond City. And hopefully we'll get a nice little look at what was that lady's name? Hi, Riley Pippa? Pippi? Something like that. Anyway, she was pretty hot, so you never know. Could be a romance in the air for old, uh, well, whatever my character's name is. <laughs> All right. I don't think we're alone. I don't think we're alone either. Raider scum.
Oh, Codsworth, you brute. Sir, pick anything good? Eh, not too bad, thank you, Codsworth. Alright, I wonder which way Nick Valentine takes to get into the city. Straight up here? What's up here? Eh, just a chair. Alright, well guys, as I said, we're nearly back at Diamond City, so I'm going to end the video now. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you all have the best day possible. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.